Hello race fans and welcome to Raceway Venray, the only oval on the Euro NASCAR schedule in 2024. And I have two very special guests to my right side, Ryan Vargas. To the left, Gordon Barnes. Ryan, your first time oval racing as an American NASCAR racer in Europe. How do you like this place so far? I, mean, I love this place. It reminds me of the track I grew up racing on, Irwindale Speedway. You got progressively banked, you know, obviously a car, a lot of cars will be racing towards the top lane. So uh, really fun and exciting racetrack. I'm very excited to hit the track here. Uh, we got Lyric Security on the car, new partner coming back for the season. And then obviously Critical Path, Custom Kings, all the normal people. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Gordon. This is a track very familiar to you because yeah. you have been racing in another series a lot of times, so you know some little tricks. Can you tell us how to be fast on this racetrack at Raceway Van Ray? Yeah, it's be brave, get up towards the wall. The outside line is um, uh, steeper banking and it's definitely quicker. The, even, even when you're running by yourself, you want to be much higher up on the track than you would do if you were um, running like a road course. Road course guys will go down there, there's no banking, there's no grip down low. Get up high towards the wall. What do you think if you have to compare this track to another one in the US? You know, I've been telling everybody, it reminds me a lot of IRP if you were to slap some more banking on it. Uh, the way you run the line, the way you enter the corner, exit the corner, it's really similar. You almost kind of do a little bit of a diamond line. Um, and it reminds me a lot of that, and especially after talking to a bunch of drivers who have been here and also getting some second opinions. So, um, no, this place looks like a ton of fun. Let's stop talking, let's drive. We go on track now. All right, let's fire this beautiful wheel and pace car we have here at Raceway Venray. Gordon, I want to start with you. Can you please tell me some of the key points we have here when we're arriving and uh, what's important to be fast? I'm trying to get the ideal line and you have to check if I'm right, okay? Well, we'll see as you're going around as to how, how good your line is. Um, like I said before, it's like um, be brave and get up towards the wall. You know, it's gentle break into the corner, really let the car roll through the corner and then pick up the accelerator early to come and really to drive it off the corner on the right rear. So I'm now onto the go. top lane. Yep. Do I stay above the white stripes? Um, if you're by yourself, you can do. You, um, you can come down a bit as well. But when you've got other cars around you, show, you know, show some respect to these other guys. Ryan, first time in the car on the track for you? Yeah. What, do it, what does it feel like? You know, this place, like I said, it, it reminds me a lot of the track I grew up at, Irwindale Speedway. We're ripping the top lane here. You kind of hug that hash mark a little bit, make sure you get yourself a nice straight drive off the corner. It's a really, really interesting short track. Uh, I love places like this where you can run multiple lanes. So let's try to get some, a little bit down on the middle lane, Gordon. Yep. You know exactly that it's going to be tough to the tires and it's really hard to overtake you, right? Yeah, it can be very difficult to overtake. The middle lane, the low lane has less banking. You're gonna put, have to put some more load on the front tires. If you stay down here too long, especially on Sunday's race, your right front's gonna suffer. Ryan, how about you when you see the track right now from this perspective? Is it going to be the high groove that is going to be the most important thing? Yeah, I mean, making sure that you take, take advantage of track position, making sure you work yourself to the outside lane and find yourself a gap. But then like Gordon said, you know, you don't want to be pushing too hard on the inside lane. You know, if you're stuck back in traffic, you have to be quick with your moves, methodical with your moves and be able to make sure you make the pass before you're stuck down there for more than two or three laps. So we're also going to have the choose wheel in place. Are you going to choose the outside lane, Ryan? Probably. Uh, you know, you don't want to lose too much track position. Obviously, if you're going to lose, you know, several spots, it may be better to jump into that inside lane. But I know that top side is going to be where everybody's going to want to go. So um, playing that game to your advantage and making sure that you, you know, are able to you know, sneak a little bit of track position as well is going to be the key key point there. Gordon, you have to rate my line right now. What do you think? Uh, pretty good. You, I said by yourself, you could probably come down a bit further across the white line. You stay, don't stay too much up. You go a little bit more down here. Yeah. All yeah. right. So exactly like this, so you, you touch it a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of play scale electrics with it if you by yourself, yeah. So I think that's it. A couple of laps at Raceway Venray. We're going to have a unusual pit lane because we have a auto speedway oval with a lot of action on the short track like the LA Clash here today. So we're going to have improvised pit stalls here. So this is the pit, in pit entry and on the left side would be your pit stalls. But we go now to the start finish straight of the short oval. And I'd like to thank you for this interesting ride. 
No, thank yeah. you. It'll yeah, be a lot of fun you. this weekend. Yeah, next year we should use the short oval for a bit of fun. Oh, man. <laughs> nah. <No. laughs>